Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. In this video today, we're going to be taking a look at the kangaroo. What is the kangaroo, you ask? Well, this is the most portable on-the-go Windows 10 PC you're ever going to find out there. And probably one of the most powerful ones for what it is. Instead of those like PCs on a stick, whatever, this is going to beat that. And what's cool about this is you can use an iPad as the display. We'll show you that because that's just totally cool. You're going to have a Windows 10 experience on an iPad and you're going to have a Windows 10 PC in your pocket or in your backpack. How cool is that? And yes, this has built-in power. So you don't have to worry about plugging in anywhere. You're just going to recharge and go. All right, let's take a look at the kangaroo. Got your interest in. Microsoft, Intel, kangaroo, mobile desktop, www.kangaroo.cc. I'll have a link in the show notes. Specs, because you got to know them. Windows 10, 64-bit home edition, full-blown on board. It's a 1.4 gigahertz Intel Atom X5Z8500 processor with turbo boost up to 2.24 gig. Integrated Intel HD graphics, available through Bluetooth, USB, this is audio, uh, or HDMI output. Yup. Two gigabytes of onboard LPDDR3 system RAM. 32 gigs of internal storage, a micro SDTF slot, 36 watt AC adapter, that's only to recharge it, a fingerprint reader, oh yeah, it just keeps getting better, one USB 2.0, one USB 3.0, and one micro USB charging, one HDMI port, and one DC power port, wireless 802.11ac, Yes, which supports the fastest Wi-Fi out there. Bluetooth 4.0. There's its dimensions, very small. And its weight, 7.1. Can't tell if that's ounces or pounds. I don't think it's a pounds because it's not very heavy. And one year limited hardware warranty. All right, let's pop it open. Let's take a look. Let's get this bad boy set up. Mobile desktop. Look at that. There it is. Let's get it out of the box. Huh, look at that. That is one tiny Windows 10 PC. It's got a little loop here too. You can hook it up however you want to carry it. Put a little strap through it. Now this will be more probably just to lock it so people can't steal it. But, you know, be inventive however you want to carry it. Look at that. Little vent ventilation, micro uh, card reader, micro uh, USB, again for charging. Got a little fingerprint reader, power, all sorts of jazz. And then of course this is the dock. It's a headphone jack. No, that's power. Never mind. Doesn't have a headphone jack, but it does have the HDMI. Well, look at all that. So let's go ahead and put that aside. See what else is in the box. Just like it said. Has your adapter. And that's it. That is all you get in the box. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get this baby powered up. We're gonna charge it up first and then get it powered up. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna check its specs. We're gonna check its performance uh, ratings. We're gonna check a lot of stuff. And then I'm gonna show you the most awesome portable setup that you could ever have with this thing. You want to go with the Windows 10 experience on the go and have it in your pocket or just in a little bag because we're going to do that. I got some accessories that are going to make this thing awesome. All right, we'll be right back guys. Stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back. So we had the kangaroo all charged up. Actually, we still have it plugged in. It's about 80%, but I can unplug it and I can show you exactly that it's powering on its own built-in power supply. Meanwhile, in the distance, we're running a benchmark test. So we'll let that run and finish while I describe everything that I've got set up here in this little setup. And we are going to have a lot of fun with this little toy. Uh, I have a lot of different videos planned uh, for this bad boy. This is 
like I think one of the best little devices out there because it's going to open the door to a lot of mobility uh, when it comes to things you can do on a portable PC. You know, Windows 10, full bore. This alone right here is a nice portable setup you could take with. This is not a lot of stuff uh, to use. So let's go over while it's running the benchmark what I have here. So this is the actual Kangaroo. Uh, it is plugged in uh, right now. Uh, I have the HDMI out going into this G-Chick uh, portable monitor. Uh, so this is um, a nice little portable monitor. What's cool about this little monitor though is it's touch screen. And this little USB cable going here, so this is basically your HDMI video that's processing through the monitor. Then this little cable here actually passes the touch from Windows 10. So this is a full-on touch monitor. I could use this as a tablet controlling my kangaroo. Very cool. I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, the next thing here is I have um, an IR here for the wireless mouse. Uh, so this is Microsoft's Arc mouse. Very thin, very portable. That is my mouse solution for a keyboard. Uh, I have a Bluetooth keyboard. Now this is a really cool keyboard because it folds up and it travels with you. This is from Pluggable. Uh, it's a full-on keyboard. Everything is together and it looks like the memory test threads are taking too long. So let's go ahead and click yes. Do you want to click continue? Uh, so we'll continue to run that. Now that keyboard does come in this little case here, so uh, what's cool about this case is you can fold it out into a stand uh, for whatever you want to put in it. If you want to use your phone or a tablet with this keyboard, you can use this as a stand for your phone or your tablet and control it with this keyboard. Uh, so that's a pretty neat little thing there um, in its own right. So let me get that out of the picture. Uh, I'm using this Harman Kardon little mini Esquire Bluetooth speaker. This is my sound, okay? Uh, more on this guy later, but this actually will charge too. It's actually a, if I push this button here, oops, wrong one, push this button. It shows how much juice is left in this thing. Uh, and actually, I think I just powered it off. Uh, so, uh, this is a double thing here. It'll actually um, charge your devices and then act as a Bluetooth speaker. I'm going to power it back up here. Hopefully. There we go. Now, all of this is being powered back here. Now, you know, you can change how this is going to be powered, but this monitor is being powered from this USB brick. This is a Nomad uh, Walnut um, charger here, so it's just two port USB out. Uh, I've got one actually going into the keyboard because it needed a charge. You can see it's got a red light on there, so it's it's charging up. Uh, once I do that, it won't take much to... Uh, the, the keyboard will power itself, so it's recharging. The monitor always has to have a connection to power. So this is providing the power to this monitor. So again, that makes this setup a highly portable setup because I don't need electricity. I can run, I can just set this up anywhere uh, as long as everything is charged and run with it. So very cool. Now, actually, so I'm going to take this little mini Esquire and I'm going to turn this exactly into what I said I was going to. And that's going to be a little stand because that's what. Uh... So, we're just going to put this here. I'm going to put my little mini Esquire on that stand. Well, it's out of the way. That's all I wanted. All right, so our benchmark just finished on here. Oh, and one other thing. I'm going to use this as well. This is a little. Uh... I only have two USBs on the Kangaroo. Uh, so this is from Tech Republic. Uh, this is a little 3 port USB 3.0 uh, hub. Uh, so I can plug this in and then actually gain a couple more USBs because I'm going to want to use probably some external storage, maybe some SD. Well, I guess I got ports for the SD cards on this, but only a micro. Uh, so if I wanted to use uh, some extra storage or something, this will come in really handy. And I'm going to show you the iPad connection to this too. But that's going to be another video. So we went ahead and ran the uh, pass mark performance on this. So let's go ahead and zoom in and check out what we got for a rating on the Kangaroo. Uh, so overall, 298.3 uh, is the score. That was for the 
performance test eight on pass mark. And uh, this is a complete result with all tests. So let's go ahead and click OK. And we'll just type in kangaroo. Upload it. And we're going to look at some of the... Thank you for submitting. So I'm going to go ahead and expand the screen here. So you can see here on the ratings, uh, this computer, 298.3, is, is pretty good. This is for the overall summary. The CPU mark, this computer's Intel Atom uh, result was a 569. So the 2D graphics mark, uh, computer was a 52.3. Now you can see here this computer Intel HD graphics 112.2. Memory mark, this computer 2 gigs, 308.4. So you can see here how this is stacking up. And then you can see how it compares against other devices. So I'll try to put a screenshot uh, of this in uh, the video. But uh, you can kind of see where this kangaroo matches, you know, some of the other uh, different things out here. Like there's an Intel Core i7. Well, obviously, it's not going to come close to that. So it's closest to the Intel Core 2 Duo, the E8400, 3 gigahertz. And um, as you can see here where that bar ends. So yeah, it's not a beast, but look at that. It's making waves up here on some of the big boys, you know? I mean, you don't see any PC sticks in this. This is, you know, its own thing. Now it is running a little warm after that benchmark, I gotta say, but uh, it definitely uh, is a worthy competitor and I've done video on here uh, streaming from YouTube everything is just smooth as silk and awesome uh, this is definitely going to be uh, a really cool portable PC so um, just wanted to go over some of the features of it get it out of the box get it out here uh, see I'm gonna minimize this and you'll see it's just gonna be a Windows screen now I'm gonna show you the touchscreen part of this this is what's really kinda cool here guys so if I hit the Windows key, you can see it pops up. So what if I want to hit Microsoft Edge? There you go. Again, it's a touch screen. That's all I got to do. Move stuff around. Look at that. Just like a tablet. Is that not awesome? So I can hit the Windows key. Hopefully. Doing this behind the screen all apps so you know complete touch there's movies and TV so I can hit basically just like a tablet what coolness is that alright well I'm gonna end this video before we make it too long because we're gonna go into multiple different scenarios with this kangaroo uh, we're gonna game on it in fact we're gonna Xbox on it okay we're gonna mirror our Xbox uh, and to Windows 10 and play it on this bad boy and we're gonna see how it performs we're gonna watch TV on it yeah uh -huh. I've got an ATI TV uh, stick that we're gonna see that we can actually watch live streaming TV on this bad boy uh, so and we're gonna make this the most mobile portable media or Windows 10 solution we can uh, so I'm gonna put all these things together and you know refine it because you know, obviously, this probably won't be my selection for most portable USB banks. Does the job. It's not all that big. But, you know, it's probably not going to be in my solution. So anyway, you guys, check the show notes. I'll have a link for everything you see right here in the show notes. Um, but then stay tuned because we're going to come back. We're going to do dual displays on this bad boy. We're going to hook this up to our iPad, make our iPad the display monitor for this bad boy. We're going to do a lot of stuff. So anyway, if you are excited to see that kind of stuff and you want to see that kind of stuff, hit the thumbs up button and like the video. Subscribe to the show and you'll be notified when we post those videos. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.